All right, making it in the music business is not always the easiest thing in the world to do. So one thing you might want to do is study the stories of people who have actually done it, and you will discover maybe some creative ways that you can apply in your own career. One really powerful story is the story of 50 Cent. 50 Cent was uh, signed uh, many years ago uh, to Columbia. They dropped him for things that he was doing in the community, and he decided to make his own way. And so he started doing mixtapes, and he would take songs that were popular and remake them. He would uh, be creative and battle a lot of rappers out there. And he put out so much music during his era of flooding the streets that every car that passed by in New York City, I heard 50 Cent that summer. And he was relentless. He worked so hard that everybody was talking about this guy. And then one day, Eminem's bodyguard always goes out to the streets and just gets the whatever's popular, who's the popular mixtape artist of the moment. And while playing some music in a car is how he first heard of 50 Cent. But if 50 Cent didn't have that strong work ethic and that ability to just like, listen, I'm not gonna wait on a record label, he would never be where he is today. Another popular success story you could study is someone uh, like Kanye West. Kanye West originally was just a producer who was making music, and he was actually what they call like a ghost producer, meaning that there was a popular producer who purchased music from Kanye West and resold it as his own music. And so a lot of producers get started in that way uh, so they can make a name for themselves. The big producer makes more money, so you, you sell it to him for 1000 he sell it for 100000 Puff Daddy was actually one of the first ones to start that or really build it as a business. But anyway, so Kanye West, from making beats for Jay-Z, is how he was first introduced to Rockefeller through a rapper um, and producer by the name of Derek Angeletti. And from that introduction, he got cool with Dame Dash and Jay-Z, and Jay-Z actually didn't really feel him as a rapper, and they told him to just stick to doing beats. But he believed in himself, and he focused on the one person that supported him, which was Dame Dash, and through that support, he put out some music, um, and from putting that music out, he also made his own music videos. He went above and beyond, and he believed in himself. That's the key thing I'm conveying to you. You have to believe in yourself so much that you could actually bend the will of other people to believe in you. And then a third and final story of a success story that you can look at is the story of Jay-Z himself. Jay-Z had went to various record labels and they thought that, you know, either he rapped too fast or they didn't like the songs that he was doing and they actually was not interested. And so he just said, all right, well, nobody believes in what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it myself. And so he was selling his music out of his trunk. He would go to popular events. He would put on events and just sell product. And his product was starting to move so much that other people decided to come to him, mainly the biggest rap label of it all, of them all, which is Def Jam. So I would say by studying those stories and the stories of anybody who you may be interested in, you'll find something that is synonymous in all the stories. You got to be able to work hard and work harder than anybody else. Flood the streets with music, flood give away music so that people can get into you and believe in what it is that you're giving them. Um, and then find value in what you're doing. Third is to believe in yourself beyond a shadow of doubt because by believing in yourself so much, other people will believe in you too. And then last is don't wait for people to hook you up or give you the opportunity. You go out there and you share your music with people. You'll have people come looking for you because they'll see that, all right, either we jump on that moving train or we'll get left. And those are some key stories that you could check out uh, to find success in the music business.